Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another bare bones test. And this one is for the Holger 556. Now, as you remember, back in the beta of Modern Warfare 3, the Holger 556 by far was the best assault rifle. And in the early days after the release, when the pros were experimenting with the meta, a lot of them used the 556 instead of the MCW. That was until Sledgehammer decided they would nerf the 5.56 and they practically nerfed it into the ground. Well, some of that has been reversed. I haven't touched it in a while, so I thought I'd give it a try. So we're going to start with the bare bones and then work our way to fully configure. Now, let's take a quick look at the 5.56 bare bone numbers. The headshot damage is amazing at 54. Upper and lower torso are as good as most headshot damages at 42. And the upper legs is a solid 35. It's got a good range, 36.8 meters and 47 meters for the minimum damage range. The recoil isn't nearly as good as the MCW, but it's very manageable. You can see the numbers there. And the ADS speed, that's where probably bare bones could need some help. And that's 270 milliseconds. Sprint to fire speed isn't great at 252 milliseconds. And the ADS movement speed is average at 2.8 meters per second. So you remember, from previous videos that I configure for range, ADS speed, ADS movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. So those are areas I'll be looking at once I configure this beast. But in the meantime, let's compare it to what I think will be the ultimate configuration, which I'm going to keep secret until I release the video on the configured 5.56. And you can see that green is good for the bare bones. Highlighted green is something significantly good that you should take notice of. Red is bad for the bare bones, highlighted red. The configuration significantly beats the bare bones. And as far as range, I've said before, I'm willing to give up range a little bit, especially given that I play free-for-all a lot. I play a lot on the small maps. I might reconfigure if I go into the larger maps if I'm playing Search and Destroy, which I rarely play. The recoil is about a tie, although vertical recoil is fairly good for the bare bones. The movement speed, though, the aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and aim down sight movement speed speed are significantly better once I configure this weapon. And those are three areas that I will target in the configuration and the range. I'm going to have to give up a bit of that, but it's still solid. So let's take this bare bones Holger 556 onto the field of honor. I think you're going to be very impressed with it. In fact, I don't know why I didn't use it more earlier because this thing absolutely slays. Let's take it onto the field of honor and see how it did for grandpa and what it did for Grandpa's friendly enemies. All right, let's take the factory settings Holger 556 into free-for-all. What are you doing? He's Elvis, the king already. One gak makes you the king at the beginning. So far, so good. I mean, the thing kills quickly. And the movements... Oh, what are you doing? Is that the same guy? JKC-64. There we got Tarzan with pants. The weapon feels solid. Um, the bullets feel heavy, if you know what I mean. There's Tarzan thinking that he can turn around and gacko grandpa. So remember, these, these are factory settings. Now, it's got 30 rounds natively. And there will be a bonus game, free-for-all, after the F4 pops its shoot, drag shoot. So 30 rounds is enough, in my opinion, on free-for-all. More than enough in just about every other mode. There, we act like Tarzan and jump out of the tree, which is that container. The weapon just seemed to be destroying people. As did the mosquito drone. Didn't get me. There's a bouncing bed. Oh, there's Tarzan. And powerful enough to go through wood. So remember, this is a 54 or 52. 
54 headshot, maybe 56. Um, and over 40 in the torso, upper and lower. So this is a powerful weapon. And once again, I've said this before, but times to kill aren't necessarily fantastic with this gun, but we assume that we're fighting against a pristine enemy face to face and that we get shot off at relatively the same time. But as you can see, even with me, in free for all, that's, I'd say, not always the case. In fact, more often than not, you're firing at an enemy that already has taken some damage. So the high headshot value, the high upper and lower torso value, especially for an assault rifle that can put out bullets, is an extreme advantage. People get wrapped up in times to kill, and I'm telling you, they're getting wrapped up in the wrong thing. You need to be wrapped up in the sprint to fire speed, the aim down sight speed, sometimes the range, but not always, especially in free for all. And the ADS movement speed, and these guys just lined up, but I only got one of them. But he's already damaged, so I, I put one in the upper torso, and that was all that was required. Now we've got him severely damaged to start. Oh, the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny is pretty evil. In his Russian tracksuit. Put out Betty. Hopefully she'll do some work. But, but Grandpa cruised. There's the Easter Bunny again and the person trying to gack who was already damaged. So it only took a few rounds to get rid of him. And the Easter Bunny ran past me for the first win. It's a Snickers victory. Not all that difficult in the factory settings. Thumbs up. Peace. Factory settings on uh, the Holger 556 are absolutely destructive. So that was fun. We're going to take it into a second free for all. This one I wasn't as confident in because of the aim down sight speed, bare bones and the sprint to fire speeds, this is a very small map where you got to get people coming around the corner many times, like there. Of course, if they don't see you, they belong to you. I tried to reach out me, and I got him in the head. So if I'm configuring this, when I eventually configure this weapon, I'm going to improve the aim down sight speed, the sprint to fire speed, and the aim down movement speed, the strafe speed. Because this thing is a beast to bare bones. I mean, you can take it out of the box, wipe the Cosmolean off of it, tissue paper, whatever they wrap it in, and you're something to deal with with the weapon just as is. It's got enough rounds has enough speed the movement speed isn't nerfed with this and it's got a lot of power for an assault rifle so grandpa's creeping around decided to gack him before he could get a restraining order for creeping whoa person going Pass, can you stop for a bullet, please? So the Holger 556, once it got nerfed into the ground, the pros quit testing it. But some of those nerfs have been reversed. There's actually been a couple of buffs, I think three buffs to it. It does have a jack kit, but I'm not going to configure it with the jack kit for the follow-up video. And I haven't tried it yet fully configured the way that I configured it, but I'm anticipating if the bare bones is this good, as long as you don't nerf, further nerf the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed, you're, you're gonna be unmanageable for the enemy. Now you, you know the recoil is up and down with the configuration, that's okay, the recoil was not hard to control and I did nerf the ranges a bit, but what kind of range do you need on this map? You're not going to get any long shots. 
same with most of the other free for all maps, most of the other small maps in the mosh pit. And in at least one or two other modes, I would not be afraid to take this into multiplayer the way it is with the longest maps. Of course, I might work on the recoil and get the ranges back if I wanted to fire long distances, but I might leave the recoil alone, just get the ranges back if we're going to be on something like derailed, the very long sniper maps. Grandpa's built up a little bit of a lead, so if it goes true to his form, he'll give that lead up right before the end and have to do something heroic to win. Although, uh, we are pretty far ahead, eight Gax. Hey, stick around after the F4 pops and shoot for that bonus game. I have one more free for all with this weapon, bare bones. And there's the final kill. Hoo-ya, hoo-ya. It's a Snickers win. Thumbs up. We're ready for takeoff. Peace to you. Hey, th this weapon is an absolute beast out of the box. The factory settings make it impossible for the de enemy to deal with. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Missile incoming. 